Welcome to the Boiling Point. I'm Richie Ware, and this is Steven Taylor. Steven, we didn't plan this. We didn't. We, well, we did got not. the same shirt on, uh, always seen. Same, same shirt. So, anyway, good minds think alike. I don't know about all that. <laughs> well, it's hot in this boiler room uh, uh, right now. It reminds me of the old days, and I don't miss any happy uh, yeah. You know, have to work yeah. for a living every day. Yes. That's, that's the end. It's still soft. Yes. Well, we appreciate all the guys out there, the we ladies do. out there that work and do all the work that they're out there doing. Make sure you stay hydrated, though. Yeah. Speaking of hot, today we're going to be talking about steam. And it's actually just, it's not just saturated steam out there. We want to talk about the difference between saturated steam and dry steam. Yep. So yep. tell me a little bit about the difference. Well, <clears throat> you know, most of the manufacturers will tell you their boiler will put out 99.5% dry steam. The, you know, systems are designed, steam is a vapor. Systems are designed for steam to be transferred through. The traps are designed for it. The process equipment is all designed for dry steam. If you start sending droplets of water through there, which is a wet steam, anything down in the low 90s, you start overloading traps. You start having heat transfer problems because the system is designed for dry steam. That water doesn't have the latent heat that dry steam has, so you don't get the heat transfer. Now so you've the, got moisture in everything. So the heat transfer is actually uh, better with a drier steam Much because better. you don't have that moisture. You don't have that moisture. You can't. That that water can't carry the heat that the dry steam can. Uh -huh. Again, dry steam is a vapor. When you have water and it's not converted to steam, yeah. you're shoving hot water through. That's what the mass is. Right, right. That's the simplest way to look at it. You're shoving hot water through the system instead of steam. What type of uh, temperatures can you get with like a, 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 a dry steam? 150, degree, 150 PSI steam for 152 degrees. And every, you know, percentage of, uh, you're, you're dropping that moisture content that temperature is dropping also, and it drops drastically to where you get, you know, 150 pounds, you get down in the 320s, you've got wet steam out the wall too, and right. you can't handle it. Right, right, right. The other problem that people don't think about is that, that that steam header and the boiler, everything is designed for dry steam. If you start shoving water out, wet steam, yeah. then you have all kinds of problems with keep, keep it up with, with the flow. Yeah. Because you can flow a lot more water through that header than you can steam, so then your feed pumps can't keep up. Okay. Start shoving water out, feed pumps can't keep up, everything starts falling apart. So I know, we, you know we've got a lot of saturated steam boilers, um, but we also have some superheat stuff. Um, what are some applications for superheat boilers? Why would you use them? Most of the applications are to run turbines with. You run a steam turbine to turn something, turn a process, turn a pump, turn a blower, to turn something turn a, a, a generator to generate electricity. Yeah. That's most of them. Some of the processes, like in open paper mills, refineries, they have to have that real high temperature to do the cracking, to do the process they're doing. Yeah. Most of it's used to, to turn something, a lot of them just to generate electricity in the right. plant so they can they can generate their own power and not have to buy that power. It's a lot cheaper for them. Cool. All right. Well, I uh, appreciate that. And now you know the difference between wet steam and dry steam. And we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. Well, thanks for joining us. If you're sticking around to see about this hat, this infographic that I'm putting up on the screen right now, it actually has topics about curiosity of what's in the boiler room. Now, each one of those topics we're going to be covering in our Boiling Point. If you would go to info at whereinc.com, then you would be able to put your address in there and give me a question about one of those topics and then we'll make sure that we answer that. All right, so let's get going. Give me some questions. You can win this cool hat, and we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.